right, here we go. Welcome back, guys. This is Tim Jelly, and thank you for tuning in. We're doing a live Luma hunt right now, and currently we're looking for a piggy pack. And we're going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. How you enter is you want to go ahead and go to my Twitch page, which is twitch.tv forward slash Tim Jelly underscore T E E V, and also subscribing on YouTube under Tim Jelly Space TV, which is T E E V. That's how you enter. You want to go ahead and make sure you do subscribe to both channels and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment. Right, so we're going to go ahead and run away here. We got a couple other people over here too. I wonder if they're looking for the same thing. We're like all looking for a Luma. It's gonna be mine. You guys need to back off. It's my space. Yes. All right. So let's see what we got right here. Uh, well, it's not. It's it's not a Luma. It is a pig. Actually, I picked up a really good pig, actually, the other, on the last stream. I believe it has, like, 50 speed and 50 special attack, if I'm not mistaken. So, if anybody wants that, like I said, go ahead and uh, drop a sub, leave a comment, leave a like. And we'll go ahead and see who's going to be the lucky winner. Alright, so we got another piggy peck here. Alright, let's go ahead and run away. Let's get out of here. I forgot to sell like run away from the other person too. Alright, cool. <clears throat> we're gonna do that. And we're gonna go ahead and run away. Hey babe. Where's your phone? I forgot to sell like run away from the other person too. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna run away. I'll keep this up here actually. Um. All right, let's go ahead and run away from this guy. Alright, so this is like pretty much the second day that we're actually looking for the Luma. So I've been at this for a few hours so far. I know there are definitely people have, that have been at this for like way longer, so I just want to make sure that I spend as much time as I can trying to find this guy because it's so cute if you haven't seen it. Alright. So we don't have a Luma here this time, so we're going to go ahead and run away. Yeah. Oops, we got stuck right there. Come on, run! Alright, there we go. We'll see what we got there. Uh, not a Luma again this time. We'll do that. And we're gonna go ahead and run away from these guys. God, man, there's so many of these regular ones. I can't... I'm, I'm just wanting this Luma to pop up already. What do we got here? You all set up? Okay. Okay. Alright. Cool. Alright, so we got a regular one. Hey, what's up, Fawn? How's it going? 
you doing? I'm just over here looking for a Luma right now. Trying to find me a piggy pig. I could catch some of these and give them away too, but that's only if they have good stats. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Did you beat the story yet? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, last time I left off with you, you were, uh, we had just cleared the first gym. Got some more piggies here. I can't wait to just get this one to pop up. The next one that I want to go for is actually uh, Keeny. Yeah, that's that's actually the next one that I'm gonna go after. Cause I know a lot of people are looking for her too, because she has like a really low spawn rate. So I'm thinking once I get this pig and I give him away, I'm gonna go ahead and farm up the Keeny. What do you think about the game so far? Since I don't know if you're still playing, but I pretty much cleared everything to this point. Uh, there's like no more content to play, so I'm just kind of running around Luma hunting right now. <laughs> this guy over here is just like staring at me, just running in a square. I probably, I probably look retarded to him. He's like, what are you doing? Do you have any idea what's in here? There could be a Luma in here, and you're just standing there, just trying to look cool with your white hair and your little... I don't know. I forgot the name of that Tim Tim. <laughs> I want to say Saku, but I know it's not Saku. It's like... Okay, it's Kaku. It's close enough. I know about you guys, but I actually like Skunch a lot. I think he's like an MVP for like my team. He carried me through so many battles. I can't tell you how many battles he actually carried me through. Just because like those two moves that he has is priority and sometimes when I was just getting my, my ass beat, he would just come out of nowhere and just make it better. Let's get these guys. We're gonna flee. You bang that chick yet? No? No, I'm still making a story here. Working on a story now. Ah. Yeah? You gotta let me know. I gotta see that scene. Huh? You're not gonna stay faithful. Why is that? <laughs> you gonna go for some of that alien? <laughs> Trying to get that cosmic booty, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Going galactic, clastic. <laughs> Alright, we got another piggy pack. You know, what's actually interesting about this game is that the odds are actually worse in this game than Pokemon, as far as, like, getting a Luma. I think... In Pokemon, it's like, what, 1 in 4,092, if I'm not mistaken? But in Temtem, it's like 1 in 6,000. <laughs> so, they definitely added uh, a much higher difficulty on getting like shinies in this one, or Lumas, rather, whatever you want to call them, so... Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. I feel like, personally, they should let us catch the, the Diamond Temtem at the end. Like, whichever one they're talking about that the evil scientist is making during the current story, we need to be able to catch that. Because having, like, a Diamond Temtem, would it sound mean if I would just, like, break off a part of them just to sell it? 
like if things get bad <laughs> you know what I mean like damn man we're in a struggle hey buddy come here we cut a little piece of your tail off mm. but I don't know if that would be considered like animal abuse or something like that so. <laughs> animal abuse well I don't know because diamond is technically like a type of rock right so what if it's just like his skin and it's not like the actual temple kind of like Appleton you know in the Pokedex it says that people like eat parts of Appleton I don't even know why that's a thing well cannibalism is when you eat your own kind so, if a kid is eating a Pokemon, that's not cannibalism. That's just straight up predation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's just straight up predation on, on the poor Appleton. So, if you really think about it, he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> huh? Literally. Like, does it grow back? Like, is that painful? Is he what? Is he seedless? Why does that matter? That's terrible. Why would you even want to get that? Like, he wouldn't even be alive at that point if you can see his core. Because that means, like, you ate his face, you ate his legs. Well, I think they probably, like, taught, taught the, the kids to, like, eat the Appletons in moderation. Maybe just, like a, like, a finger or, like, a leg or something like that. So, I think, I don't know. I think some of the entries are pretty cool. Like, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dust, Dustmore? You remember him? Yeah, he's, the, he's like the evolved form of Dustmore. Like, bigger and more, you know. He's got like that hole in his stomach where he's like, you know what I mean? But essentially, what he does is like he'll swallow a Pokemon hole. He'll like suck out their life and just spit out their dead body. That's what it says in his Pokedex, and I'm like, why do you tell children this, if this is supposed to be a children's kid? That's pretty savage. You know which one is bad, too? Uh, nice. You know which one is bad, too? Uh, what's the name? Litwick. You know what it says about Litwick? It says, the younger the soul that it devours, the brighter its flame burns. I see, yeah, it's like a pedal candle. A pedal stick. Pedal stick. <laughs> That's heck of a Ooh, Mr. Nocturnal. <laughs> Has rated me with a party of 10. <laughs> What's going on here? What's happening? What is the meaning of this? I just want to find it because it actually just looks cute as hell on top of that. The little Loma piggy pack. I can. You just might have to turn your volume up. Yeah, you might have to turn your uh, your volume up. How is the sound for everyone, by the way? You want me to turn down the game volume, or is it or is it good for you guys? You know, it's the sad part. Even if I did want to try to catch these guys, I can't. Because watch what happens. Look at this. This is what happens when you try to quote-unquote weaken them with your current Temtems. Alright? Don't kill them. Nope. Rip. And that actually hurt me. You bastard. That wasn't even worth it, was it? The Scunch is like, what the fuck? 
You just made me lose that health for like no reason. He's probably like, give me a goddamn, give me a, a what is it? Pop bomb? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to say berry so bad. <laughs> it's such a hard adjustment, like transitioning from Pokemon to Tim Tim. So like, I want to say so many things in here, but then you know what's gonna end up happening when I go back to play Pokemon. I'm gonna say everything like Tim Tim like. It's terrible. Like I said, this is a mature stream, guys. So I'm getting high right now. Alright. I'm gonna run away. So I'm, like, I'm not even doing... I'm not even hitting another one of these guys because they're gonna make me lose more health. And I'm too cheap to buy more bombs right now. Because really, if you guys don't know, the only way to make money right now is actually by catching ten tens and releasing them. But it's kind of contradictory because it costs you money to buy the ten cards. So when you release them, you have to deduct the amount that it took you to buy the ten card away from the total profit. So if you're not hunting the right ten tens and you don't know what the value is of the ten tens, you're not going to make money. You're actually going to be losing your pen cents. You can? Okay. Hey, let me get a light for this. Thanks. So, matter of fact, guys, let me take a second and actually show you my team real quick, and see and show you what I'm what I'm running with. Uh, except this piggy pack. Minus that, I forgot he was in there. Actually, I'm giving this one away if anybody wants it. It has a. Uh, 50 in speed and 50 in special attack, I believe. So it's actually really good, um, even as a breeder. So if you guys are interested, like I said, you know, drop a follow, support the channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'm giving this away, essentially. And I'm also giving the Luma away when I find it, too. So you have to stay tuned. Um, but my team really consists of the Skunch. Uh, I, I was one of the dumbasses that picked the turtle, unfortunately. Everybody knew that you can go catch it in the wild later, except for me. So, yeah, laugh at me. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, Sarni, super bulky. When you get this thing, it's just super helpful. Nesla, must have. Water, electric, and it has like something that's akin to uh, like Volt Absorb, if you want to like consider it that way Pokemon wise. It's called, uh, what is it called? Electric Synthesize. Yeah, that's what it's called. So, um, I would definitely recommend at least picking up Scrunch um, and picking up a Nesla. I have some videos also on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. If you do play Temtem, um, it's under Tem Jelly Space TV, which is T-E-E-V. And uh, you can actually come check me out there. And um, I'm starting that channel too. I'm posting up some guides. So, any support is really appreciated. No, actually, what am I doing? I'm not going to attack this guy. I'm, I'm getting, I'm high right now, so... The inner killer in me is like, you know, kill him. But Temtem right now is for the PC. Um, I, from what I understand, they're gonna, you're gonna be able to play it on Xbox um, later on. But from what I understand, you're still gonna have to purchase like a separate version of that game, and your progress from the PC isn't actually gonna transfer over. So you kind of have to pick and choose what system you wanna go with on Temtem. So since I started on the PC. And if it comes out for Xbox, I would have to, like, start all over, essentially, because I can't add my profile to it. So, I mean, that's the only downside, but considering the fact that there's so much more content that they haven't released yet, it kind of gives me a lot to look forward to. I feel like the content in just, like, the first three islands was... It was... It was... I liked it. I wasn't expecting to actually be as impressed as I was when I started playing Temtem. I was kind of suspect as I'm like, you know, this is like a Pokemon knockoff. So, um, I was just like, you know, kind of expecting it to be bad. Like, in some people's opinion, yes, it is kind of, it's okay, it may be mediocre, but like, in my opinion, I like it. It's refreshing. Especially if you play Pokemon, but sometimes you don't want to play Pokemon. But you want to play something that's 
kind of like Pokemon, if that makes sense. Everybody's been in that mood before. You can't tell me that you haven't. So, I'm thinking, you know, I would recommend this if people wanted to try it. Like, the price tag's not that bad either. I mean, think about it. It's, what, 34 bucks? How much did you pay for Sword and Shield? Like, 60 Right? So, if you think about it, it's not that bad. You know? And they're going to be invested in this game long term. They're going to be, they're constantly employing updates. Um, they're working round the clock. Um, if you're not a part of like the 1010 Discord, I do recommend joining it. They give you like as much information as possible as far as like what's happening with the game. It is neat, in my personal opinion. I, I actually do enjoy the game, especially because I like the designs of the creatures. They're a little bit, di well, they're not a little bit, they're a lot of bit different, um, but in a way that I can enjoy and appreciate. Like, you can actually see um, the similarities, like, between the base form the sprite, and if it evolves, you can obviously tell what it came from, um, which is something that I really like. They definitely keep their identity when they evolve, so. I think that's something pretty cool, personally. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Caesar. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Still running around. I'm telling you guys, when we find this, like this is gonna be like a serious moment. Like I need to do something crazy if I find it. Like I don't know what I should do though. Like what do you guys think I should do? Like well, I had a crazy like werewolf mask in the closet, but I think I. I think I threw it out. So I can't, I can't, I can't pull that out right now. What do you mean, what the fuck, level 44, man? Yeah, you gotta get on board. Where you been at? You still stuck on level 25? Oh, it's still in the garage? Man, look, I've been playing. I don't, I don't know. Wait, where you been at? You see me online? We, we friends. I didn't see no invite. No, there was no love, like... You just broke out last time. He was like, all right, I got to go. And then you just left. And it just never teamed up again. <laughs> Wait for me to catch up. <laughs> uh, sure. You can catch up. Oh, wait, though. Before you do that, big thing. Uh, when you get your ice skates, don't, be, uh, don't finish the second area. Because when you finish the second area, you lose your ice skates, and currently in the game, there's no way to get it back. So if you want to get the Four Leaf Clover, uh, which is an item that increases your catch rate for the Temtems, you actually have to go to the Agua Marina Caves and use the ice skates. Um, so you want to make sure you do that before you progress. If you don't, then you're not going to be able to get them until they release the update. Mm, you're working on it. <laughs> I mean, well, if you need help, just let me know. I'll help you out. We could actually, we could do it right now on the stream if you want. Nice. Now, let's run away from this guy. I'm actually recording this too right now for uh, for my YouTube channel. So, it's not only going to be on, on Twitch, it's going to be on YouTube later on too. Oh, oh, I found it. Look, it's there. I found it. Guys, look. Look, the pig. I found it. Oh, shit. Wait. No. Wait, no, no, no. We gotta go back. I almost clicked run away. Run away and panic. Did you see that? No. All right, we gotta temp card it. We're just gonna throw temp cards, guys. This is for subs only. Well, not subs only. Well, followers. You want to enter in this. I need to see a follow. Who wants this pig? Don't be holding on to this. Hey! Yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Alright, guys. Come on. Come on. Yes. This, this really happened. All right, we gotta name it. We have to name it. What is what is this gonna be named? This is a shiny. It's a one in six thousand chance of finding one of these guys in Temtem. 
One in 6,000, okay? Extremely rare, rarer than Pokemon. So this is going to be given away to one lucky person. So we we got we gotta we gotta rename him. What is he gonna be called? You know what? Just to show some love right here, we're gonna name this after my fellow streamer Pawn Rocket over here. That's what we're gonna call him. Dedicated. Oh wait, okay. I gotta I gotta delete capital right there. We're going to call a pawn rocket. Wait, your your selected character name contains invalid words. Pawn. Pawn, they're mistaking your word for, for porn. Uh, I don't know how we can spell this. Oh wait, I have an idea. Wait. Uh, P... No, we can't do that either, huh? Hmm. I don't know. How how can we be created? I know, right? I see. <laughs> um. Hmm. What about Paul? <laughs> Rocky. Let's see. Can we get around it? We still get around it. Paul Rocket! <laughs> we still got around it! Okay, guys. Alright, so, uh, yeah. That's just gonna, we're gonna clip this for the YouTube video, so I just wanna let you know, thank you so much for watching. This is gonna be given away. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, and uh, thank you for watching.